Breaking news right now at 6 o'clock over in Methuen. Two people are dead and two others hurt after a hit and run crash. This is video from the scene this morning. This was along 495. Tonight, we're told troopers are now looking to track down another driver that left the scene of the crash. Good evening, I'm Darren Botello. Our Malcolm Johnson has been on the scene for a while now. He's live in Andover tonight. And Malcolm, do we know the type of car troopers are actually looking for? That has yet to be revealed at this point, Darren, and it's unfortunate to begin a newscast with such sad information as we know that two people have tragically lost their life after a hit and run crash took place in Methuen on 495 this morning, just after six o'clock. That is according to the Essex County District Attorney's Office, and we've got some video, some close-up video of what the crash looked like. You're looking at it right now. We know that four people, Darren, were inside of the car. One died on the scene, a second passed away after being rushed to Lawrence General Hospital, and the two other passengers are currently in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Now, when police arrived, they found a pickup truck with heavy damage into a tree in the median. All lanes of 495 were shut down for medical assets, and Methuen's fire department also responded. First responders needed to use the jaws of life to get one of the passengers out of the truck. They were using the jars of life for about 45 minutes on one of the victims in the back seat of the automobile. Uh, there was a person in the front seat of the truck that was uh, dead on arrival, and uh, the accident's still under investigation. We had med flight coming out of Boston because of the person that was trapped in the car, and um, you know it took a while to get him out, and uh, they assisted the ambulance taking that person to the Longstone Hospital. And we know that two folks are inside of Lawrence General Hospital right now. The victims are all between the 30s and 40s. Their identities have yet to be released because family members have to be first alerted about all of this, Darren, before we find out who was inside of that vehicle. And you mentioned that investigation. Well, we know state police right here are continuing to look into that other vehicle and who was behind it involved in this crash. For now, we're live reporting in Andover. I'm Malcolm Johnson, NBC10 Boston.